Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, whenever and wherever you are. And welcome back to Il Papa, the Pope Man, the Papal State in CK2. Yes, indeed. What we are waiting for is for our law to be accepted. And if we can, oh, yes, another man that needs to follow our doctrines. If we can do that, then we have at least a proper domesne, which means we will be able to hire more troops and when we get more piety we can also hire more holy orders in order to properly declare our holy crusade for Jerusalem. Currently Bari is in a war and has a significant amount of troops, let's put it that way. Uh, while they are fighting against the Il Khanat who are Shia and are trying to conquer Syria. For a long while now, you have not felt the presence of God in your thoughts. You are starting to wonder whether there really is any truth in the Bible, or perhaps it is just an old book written by clever liars. Oh my! Uh, it must be so, God is dead and I will go cynical. Absolutely not. Or oh, this is blasphemous. This blasphemous feelings will soon pass. We will do this, gain 30 piety, and hopefully not gain stress. We are stressed. And that is not a good. You hear me? Though my successor isn't half bad. Uh, we are stressed. That is unfortunate. I just realized probably if we attack as a crusade, and then hiring a holy order will still well, it will cost piety, but it will also need to do the upkeep. Hmm, I'm not sure. You know what, I don't really like this portrait. I have looked at the portrait of Clemens V and he did not look like this at all. He was, uh, I wouldn't say chubby, but a little bit, um, and a little bit weight around the waist, but moreover he was bold and he had no mustache. So this portrait has got to, got to go. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Little bit of hair with a bowl on top. Looks just like a monk. Very good. Uh, yeah, this looks a lot better. I had no events yet to train you, but... Well, you are exceptionally happy with me. We are getting quite a few men that come to our court, thanks to our holy order. Hmm, Naples, how many men do you still have? Well, you're still quite full. After all, oh, there we go. The man that I was trying to placate has died and the successor is content. And hence, he votes for my law immediately. Still, I'm going to give him another... Uh, Honorary title so that he feels very, very, very happy with me. Thank you so much for voting for my law. That increases a lot. Oh, if his... Wow, this line goes quite a bit through already. If uh, his son comes onto the throne, we might have a good marshal there in him. And therefore rallying more troops because... Oh, well, current marshal is also very good. So really not to shabber. We gained some... Well... We had 348 gold, now we have 48 gold. <laughs> that might also be... Uh, what also happens automatically, what I can't do anything about is... Uh, you can ask the Pope for money uh, in exchange for piety. Yeah, I can't do anything about that, that just happens. So that extraordinary income of 42 gold a month... You lose that by random events. Do no no matter. No, we don't. No, we don't. Hmm. I see. I'm just looking around the map a little. I'm just mainly waiting for who was this. That's a decently sized army. Serbia. Uh, but Serbia won't help us later. Oh. Oh, dear. The Ilkanat is breaking apart which isn't too bad for me but I would rather had that body would break apart 
Because all that money loss that he has now is going to go up as soon as this war is won. Because I reckon that the Ilkhanad must pay quite a bit of money. Now the Golden Horde might still arrive. Golden Horde. Oh my, Golden Horde. Oh holy heck, you have a ton of wars. Novgorod is formed. That's very nice, but holy heck, you are defending in a revolt. That's this little revolt over here that won't do too much. You are defending against... This little man is attacking in a holy war. Oh, versus Kiva. Oh, this man is still Mongol of the same dynasty and is Tengri. How in the... Oh, don't, we don't have the diplomatic range apparently to get to him. Blast and Dardanetian. Would have been good to bring this heat in the word of God. Hello, I wanted to... Oh, well, we'll change it to that and change it to that. The other man won't like me very much, but this man, well, he doesn't mind. That is because, after all, I have plus 30 points for being the head of the, re <laughs> the religion, and I have plus 20 for my theolo theology focus. Terebazon is also being destroyed right now, which I'm not too surprised about. Oh, Chandar has expanded. As the Ottomans actually have some trouble... That is interesting. Interesting indeed, but they did split by Byzantium, I think, because Byzantium has lands here and here, which is odd to me. So, but we were looking at these wars. Sunni revolt, that's against you. Personally, you trill trying to conquer peace. You have war school there. You also seem to have lands here. Yeah, they are uh, currently held by your vassal and as such you're gaining war score you're also for Syria you're in those war but um, Bari is definitely winning that Ooh, the travels of Marco Polo the Venetian merchant Marco Polo has finally returned to Europe after many years of travel in the Far East with his father and uncle an account of their journey has been published in as the travels of Marco Polo describing among other things the distant lands of Cafe and Manji readers are provided a rare glimpse of the world beyond Europe, but there are those who discount the entire chronicle as a fabrication. A stunning tale nonetheless. Hmm. Yeah, as soon as this man ever revolts against us, we <laughs> have a problem, but otherwise it's fine. There are rumors that one of the rulers of Christendom is employing a heathen in their court. This is not acceptable to the church, and this is, and this earthly lord will surely be damned unless we intervene. Mm. Oh, we must act. Demand adherence to the throne of the Saint Peter, because if we do not do anything, it's going minus one more forty. Look at this. We have these unique events that you only get because it's the rulers of Christendom, and this is probably because this man has a Jew in his court. These unique events are here. Are we ever going to be allowed to play theocracies? Is that going to happen? And we gain five prestige because an, the missionary has returned from Count Alfonso of Almeria, bearing glorious news. The missionary says that Count Alfonso has agreed to imprison an heathen that was in his court. Could we see his court? Could we? He has imprisoned this man. Yeah, he had a Sunni. Very good. Glory to God. So. We have these events that we get as Pope, but normally you cannot play the Pope unless you fiddle around a lot. So, is Paragon ever, uh, pa Paragon, Paradox ever going to uh, change that? I do not know, but it is interesting. Interesting also that this Piast is part of the Holy Roman Empire when Poland <laughs> is also Piast. That's an interesting uh, thing that I noticed. This timeline. Because Poland used to be here, but Poland has shifted many times in history. I mean, it's now here, then it, at a certain point it gains... Oh. Volko has developed a habit for wild parties. Uh, I might want to give him curfews, but then he might become arbitrary. That's not fine, but I do want to become him chased, but charitable isn't bad. Oh, this is a difficult one. Wild parties. Curfews. We are the Pope. 
And he doesn't understand why we're doing that, and he has become arbitrary. Well, that's too bad. But Poland has shifted so many times in history. It it uh, it used to have this duchy, which I think is the duchy of Greater Poland. Yeah. Uh, which, uh, by the way, is a very old border. It's like a little cross. Uh, it had Stolp, Stettin, up way here to the Baltic Sea. Then it moved to the east. Then it gained Gaeli and around here. Then you had the Commonwealth, which, well... Lithuania, which was all of this, more or less. What my curse is circumventing right now. Was under them. And uh, then they were pushed back to the west after the World Wars. And, uh the Polish people don't, do not have had it easy. D did not have it easy over in, th in history. That is uh, one thing that is for certain. Let's just increase the fortifications. Let's spend our money. Uh, oh, Obertello is also ours. I was like looking. Wh where's the other county that's ours? Because we already don't have a lot of garrison size because wrong government type. Luckily, that does not relate to the levy, by the way. It's really based to the garrison. As far as these numbers indicate. And I hope that's true, otherwise... Oof. Ow. Hmm. Body, I need you to explode a little bit more, man. You're winning this war a little too easy. Hungary, do you have any troops to fight off the Golden Horde also? That's also a question that is on my mind. Because you certainly took back something from Transylvania. You took this little county here. Hmm. Oh, we, no, the Ottomans are not, not pushing back. They still have a province occupied by Byzantium. The Byzantine Empire. Well, you're focusing on it, but 33% uh, in favor of him, but you have troops, so why don't you unsiege this? Oh, well, because now being he's been sieged even more, I think all his troops are here. I could check that out, but you know what? Let's have some fun. <laughs> you know what? Let's have some fun. I cannot spy in here. Oh, apparently they do not have the technology. I wanted to put my spy master here. I could have done that by creating a network, but then I could have seen... What type of army lies here? I could also perhaps... No, I cannot offer to help him despite this being... Oh, this is a conquest. This is not a holy war. Hench. I cannot intervene as Le Pope Man. Il Papa. Mm. Yeah, body is not even counter-sieging as I call this. You... A war is declared, but they're actually invading the country that declared. And unlike in EU4, you cannot make demands right back. You have to get back to your country, dismiss all your levies, then declare war because you are allowed to do that, and then attack again. Oh, the loser gun! With a claim on Cyprus, yes. Of the former king of Cyprus. But you do not have claim on Jerusalem. No, okay. He has joined our court. What is happening over here? The Byzantine Empire is attacking. And despite being sieged... Oh, this is Epirus now. Uh, having lands over here. Oh, the Ottomans have a little bit of trouble. We are familiar with trouble, but... Uh, we've also... I... Uh, I... Uh, that was another 400 gold down the drain, I think. Why, thanks. And why is this war not won yet? I think you're full sieged. No, you're not yet full sieged. You have a church that, that's still going on. No, you're not gonna win, man. I'm so sorry to tell you, but you're not gonna win. How's the Geneva? Uh, a house where your scores compare to, because they always held the county of Geneva. Never gained more, never lost it. I think that's the lowest score you can get, is about a thousand points or so. And that's very easy to get. Now, of course, I am the Pope, so now I'm getting way more points than anything. But you've seen me make difficult starts, and it's easy, easy peasy to get uh, some wall score. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, this is also part of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. He is a Kafar. Make, make him change back. Nobody hates him. 
Well, <laughs> we have a kafar among us. You know what? In that case, we don't need cultural points. We need you to mm, tell this man to change because I don't want the kafar heresy within the papacy. That is just... That should buy, be a minus 500 prestige for such an event or so. Okay, that might be a little bit too much, but you get what I mean. I mean, that cannot just happen. Isabella has dragged her unfaithful spouse, Ben on not easy, before me and assist, insist that I should punish him. Uh, he will be locked in the stock? Sure. You may hate me, but I gain piety and uh, this woman might like me. I think if I would have been lustful, I could... Or, um, uh, had the focus of seduction, I would have gained that lady quite easily in my pants if I would have done this. Grant absolution. This is, oh, by the way, uh, these... Oh, I should read out one of those. These, those are events where people pay you money, though I never see it go up, so I don't know what happens there. Uh, pay you money in order to gain piety. It's the uh, event that you can take. Ooh! Um, the smallest spiders. I want to make him content. I hope he loses Craven and gains content. Is that what works? No, he did not lose Craven, but he is content. This man will not revolt. This boy, this Fulco. We have a different heir. Wow, nice, decent stats overall. Too bad you're cynical, but oof, everything else is good and you're ambitious. That This is a pope that might go for this... Uh... uh crusade that we want to do in this little campaign of ours well he has now 16,000 men he has, is down in money oh he has highway rubber bands things are going down for him how are you two doing because I would love to have you join this war or Castile Castile has a lot of wars as well going on right now hmm because you better can have peace through Europe, through the Catholic Europe, in order to attack, but... Uh, can we manage? Can we manage? What a sieging... Oh, wow, Naples, the, the amount of wars you get yourself into. You have a war against the King of Bulgaria and I cannot click on it anymore. Is that war already over? That war is over as I was looking at it. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Well, you just made peace with, with the Jew war over Nish, and it was won by the king of Serbia. So Bulgaria filled in to gain this county, which is part of Vidin. All right. Naples, how many troops do you still have? 7,000. Because this is still part of us, but... Oh, uh, how many troops do we have? 8,000 only, not that much. Not that much. If you hire mercenaries as the Papal State, that is a very easy thing to do. Because um, because you pay for the mercenaries, you don't have a lot of income. So you never get to that high amount of money that people ask you for money. So it's actually quite, you can easily ha have some mercs up and running. Uh, well, we're going to pay for his uh, ideas. Now I didn't read it out again. Okay. R Listen, beat up plan. Remind yourself. People would like to see the events that are unique for a Pope. Why don't you read them out to them? This is a different event. But nonetheless, let's read it out. My Corte, Hughes, has requested to join the Knights of Santiago in the struggle against the infidel. Even though this will forever disinherit him. Funny enough, he is already celibate. Came to us to join probably a Knights Templar and now wants to go somewhere else. That's kind of ridiculous because he has already found his calling but go with my blessing because then he can then I gain 100 piety and if I would not let him go I lose 100 piety and piety is kind of important for our moral authority. 
piety of Pope Clement V, third line from below, 8.4% more authority for our church. You do not want to lose piety as Il Papa. And I assume that everybody else would understand why. Oh, somebody changed their religion. Uh, but they all... Uh, which one was it? I thought it was Maria that he said, but... Oh, he is turning everybody to Kafar. This is not allowed. This is just not allowed. Oh. Let's tell him to be aided by somebody else. Somebody that has a better education than I do. By this map. Naples is fighting wars again. How do you still have manpower? Excommunication war. I did not. Did I? Defending against... You are excommunicated! Did I miss something? Did this happen automatically? Or is there simple no, simply no uh, event for this? That could very well be. It could be both. Well, that, that does it. Declare war. We have the Jurgen on Amprutium. You are being... People are waging war on you. And we have some money for mercenaries that we can hold up. So we are going to uh, call in, I think, the Saxon band. Because that has a lot of... Ooh, but this can chase very well. And we have an income of 42. So we can definitely keep these mercs up for as long as we want. I want some archers for... Sie this would help us with sieging. Because sieging is mainly based around archers and around light infantry um, we're going to do the Catalan bend we're going to call up our levies and those of our vassals uh, but we're going to stand down these men because they will die instantly because Naples is right around the corner and we're going to which is a neat little but weird trick in CK2 I don't want you to call them in your capital, which is also always where the people are called up. But I want you to call them here. A little closer to home. We will gather up in Spoleto and then we are going to go for Aprutium. Oh, by the way, not of this barony. That that will not help. Um, and then we will have our Dejure claim. We are going to do this little war before we are going to go for a crusade, of course. Uh, this is part of ours. It has to be ours. It's it, And this man is ex excommunicated. How could I not attack an excommunicated king of Naples? And let's be honest. I already said I would excommunicate him if someone would have asked. If I by accident read over the event, I am terribly sorry. I am going a little too fast today. Too quick. Mm, too fast, too quick. But uh, I thank you for watching. And remember, great peril yields great beauty.